This is a quick look at the Hold Peak Digital Multimeter. Uh, it comes in a carrying case here, which is kind of nice. I like that. Uh, here's the device itself. It's a model number HP-90EPC. This is a, um, a model that will output to a PC if you like. It does come with a USB cable to connect to a PC to show results with included software. Or you can just use it standalone. It also comes with fairly standard fare here. It comes with your black and red uh, leads and a uh, temperature sensor. So let's just do a couple tests here just to show uh, what, you, what we can do. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, measure uh, temperature first. All right, so uh, to do that, uh, what we want to do is put the, uh, the black plug here into the COM port. And we're going to put the, uh, the red into the uh, UAMA T plus jack. So that'll be this one right over here. All right. Let's go ahead and turn this on. We're going to set this to Celsius. This does not come with a Fahrenheit setting, just a Celsius setting here and you can see it's already uh, started to uh, show the temperature in the room if i hold it up to my wrist here the temperature starts to climb fairly steady fairly rapid here it's going it's going up started at about 20 celsius we're at about 28 29 30 31 and let's go ahead and test out this uh, LED backlight. So if I turn off the lights here, you can see it automatically came on here. All right. So the next test uh, we're gonna run is uh, a battery test. So to do that, uh, let's go ahead and connect up the black uh, test lead to the comm. And we're gonna go and put the red to the UMA or UAMA jack. So just like the temperature actually. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and switch uh, this dial to the battery switch here. So really easy. Okay, so now we got your black, you got your red, and let's go ahead and try this on a nine volt battery. Okay, so put one on one end on here, one end on here. And I got it reversed, so let's just swap that. Okay. Okay, and you can see it's got a reading there of 8.82 .8 volts. It's a nine volt battery. All right, comes up really quick. Okay, the leads here are actually uh, are fairly thick. Uh, I like them, they feel really hardy. They don't feel uh, like they're gonna uh, crap out on me anytime soon here. Um, let's go ahead and try one more thing actually. I just disconnected that, but uh, we're gonna try a diode audible connect uh, continuity test. Uh, we're gonna do an audible test. So to do that, you wanna put your, uh, you wanna put your black lead back to your comm. And you want to go ahead and put your red to the V um, uh, HZ here. I don't know what the other symbol is. And uh, we want to move the dial, the rotary dial switch here to uh, to this guy right here. Okay. So you can see, let's see how uh, let's see how well this does. Hold on, let me make sure I got this right. I think I have, so there is, uh, if you go here, so, oh, so uh, I had a mistake there. So we, what we have is once you connect your black, so you get your black, you get your red. Now we want to select your, uh, use the select button to choose the audible test. 
right there. Okay. So let's see if I can... Uh... Oh, so we also have a kickstand here. Let's go ahead and kick that up. Now let's see if you can hear this. Hopefully you can hear this. Now, if I do a quick swipe on this, let's see if I can uh, hold this closer so you can hear. So if you hold it tight, you will get that clear audible beep. But you do hear some static there as well. Um, so, you know, in this price range for these type of um, um, for these type of multimeters, that's what you're kind of going to expect. Uh, you're not going to get that clear, um, real digitized beep. You're going to get a little more static, but you are going to get, um, the advantage of this is you're going to get quick results. So you just have to tap. So, uh, if you, if you're at one end of a wire, another end of a wire, and you want to do some quick testing, you're going to get good, quick results. So that was just a quick look at the Hold Peak uh, digital multimeter. If you have any questions about it, uh, leave them in the comments. Um, uh, otherwise, thanks for watching.